Hey, today I'm going to go over a solo artifice armor farm that you can do this week, this reset. And that farm is the first encounter of the duality dungeon on master, of course, for the artifice armor. This farm was really popular about a month ago because you could use checkpoints to really get it quick. But since they removed the ability to have checkpoints on master duality, this is now what you have to do, whether it's solo or in a fire team. But with what I'm going to show you, it's still really quick at like three minutes per run. And you'll see that in this video later. And for three minutes, that's kind of up there with some of the quickest farms in the game, even though it's longer than when it was a month ago. So before I get in and show you how to do the farm, let's talk about what you're going to need. Of course, it is the Master Duality Dungeon. So if you're watching this on a different week than when I uploaded it, you will have to wait for duality to rotate back to being the pinnacle dungeon. So outside of actually needing the dungeon to be pinnacle, let's look at loadout. I'll have sections for each class because yes, this can be done on every single class. And in each section, I will show you the loadout that I use to do it. And you'll probably want to replicate. But starting with Warlock, the only thing you're really going to need is an Eager Edge Sword. Doesn't matter which one it is. And you don't need a movement exotic. If you wanted to use one, I would probably recommend Transversive Steps, but it's not necessary, as you'll see in the gameplay. The other thing that will be necessary, however, is using Heat Rises, so you'll be on a Solar subclass, and then also having Burst Glide. Now with the Warlock necessary loadout out of the way, I will let live commentary Toity take over, so if I make any stutters or sound a little goofy, don't make fun of me. So this is where the farm begins, and actually it's the slowest part of the whole thing is listening to Eris talk in the beginning. But while we're waiting for her to uh, let us get on with the dungeon, I want to remind you, check the chapters, because if you don't want to hear my commentary about kind of the whole tutorial, you can just skip to which class you want to see. And since we're still waiting, if you like my stuff, a subscription would be really nice. Maybe, maybe a little like on the video, a little comment. Okay, so once we fall, we can begin. And I am using the loadout that I showed you before, which kind of allows you to speed everything up. So starting, of course, shooting this bell. And then where the uh, strats come in to make this go by quicker is right after we enter the normal realm again. So shooting this, entering the normal realm, we can jump on top of it. And our first jump will actually be to this ledge here. Again, using burst jump on Warlock. You make it pretty easily. So, we'll go up like normal. You can replicate this on every class. But once we get to this corner here, this is where the second strat comes in. And we're aiming for the side of Kallus' forehead right there. And we're going to use our Eager Edge to bounce our way up. Like that. So now once we're up here, we want to get on this ledge right above it. So I don't mess the jump up. And then we're going to look down at the bell we just came from and ring it. This will teleport us. And then we'll jump right up here. Mantle on Warlock. It's really a lot easier on every other class. And continue like normal. So that's going to reduce, honestly, most of the time from the farm, but we keep it going. Once we get right here, we're going to turn around and shoot the bell. And then we're going to drop off and go into that right there. This skips, a, a, honestly, a huge portion of the uh, entry to this dungeon, since you can't use checkpoints. So we're ringing this bell. We now get into right before the encounter that we can farm for artifice armor. Here is where I'd recommend, especially since we'll be on master, again this isn't recorded on master because it wasn't available, switching to a machine gun because it will shred through ads on normal and on master. Also, if you're using a sword, you're not going to have a ton of ammo, so just be ready that you're going to have to kill about uh, 
I think it's 13 ads, something like that. There we go. Last guy's about to die right now. And we're good. So now that'll let us through the, uh, the door here. And you can either use a rally banner if you want to. You don't, you don't actually have to. Uh, it just kind of depends on what abilities you want to do to keep alive. I'm going to use it so I can have both my Heat Rises grenades. But we're going to go straight into it. We're going to ring this bell. Then I like to take out these two Scions because they're annoying as you try to bait Gowron over. But there he is. We want him to come. Yeah, that's good. We just want to make it so that he'll lunge at us over the thing. Or just walk off, which happens a lot too. And that's it. That's at least it for Warlock. And the enemies despawn and you get your loot. Which, if you're lucky, will be Artifice Armor. It can, unfortunately, drop some weapons. So it's not 100% every time you're going to get Artifice Armor. But it only took a couple minutes. And that's for the chance at Artifice Armor. And you can do it solo. So, so while we begin the run, let's talk about the Titan loadout and what you're going to need. So I'm not super used to Titan, but this is how I get it done. First thing is you're going to need the Eager Edge Sword. The next thing is Lion Rampant. I'm not sure if you can make it without it, but that's what I use. And then as for the jump, Catapult Lift, you might be able to make it with the other two, but I used Catapult. Your subclass, weapons, everything else, doesn't matter at all. Just those three things. This run begins the same as the Warlock one, jumping to this ledge here. Remember, if you hold space or your jump button, you will actually jump higher when jumping off the ground. Doesn't work on your double jump. So here we are at the ledge. Same thing, aiming for the side of the head, using our Eager Edge Sword to go the distance and bounce up. Everything is pretty much the same as the Warlock one. Just you're going to have to use your jumps differently. But I'm sure if you're watching this tutorial, you probably know how to use the Titan Jump. But I will still show you where to go. Down here, ringing the bell and catching yourself. And then we're making it to the combat section right before we get to the encounter. Again, since this will be on master mode when you do it for the Artifice Armor farm, I didn't do it in the gameplay, but switch to a machine gun because that will actually allow you to shred through the enemies regardless of if it's master or normal. And since it will be master, these guys will be pretty lethal. So, I took my time to kill those in a kind of pathetic showcase, but now we're moving to the cheese and getting our loot. I put a rally banner down just in case I wanted to throw a grenade or I needed to live. But for this one, starting off killing the Scions because they will be a nightmare. And this one's actually going super easy. I just stand at the spot. And I jumped, and he held W off the edge. So that was super simple. If it's not so simple for you, just just stand where I was in the video and jump around the edge to get him to lunge off. And that's it. That's when you'll get your artifice armor. So while we begin the hunter run, let's look at the loadout necessary for this. Eager to sword again, and then... I used Stompies with Triple Jump. Honestly, with Stompies and Triple Jump, you don't really need the Eager Edge Sword, but I like to have it just in case because 
you can come back from anything really and that is all you need for this no subclass necessary stuff just what you see on screen here we are first bell we're lining up the jump to that ledge and using stompies with triple jump super easy then we will continue up like normal until we get to this ledge at this point it's the same as the other two runs you're going to aim for Kaos's forehead which you actually make it without eager edge but using that to make sure you get popped up on top of his head we get to ring the bell and then jumping up to this scaffolding halfway done already again stompies makes this super easy So, show you where to go. We're going to be jumping down to that, ringing the bell, dropping, and catching ourselves before we fall into the abyss. At this point, we're already at the little combat section before the encounter. If you watch the other two character point of views, I've said this already, this is where I would switch to a machine gun because on master these guys are very lethal and you'll want to melt them down as quick as you can in the video i didn't switch to a machine gun because this is normal and i was kind of lazy i guess but i'll be back once i uh manage to actually kill all these ads In a somewhat lame performance, I killed them eventually, but here we are. You can do a rally ban if you want to. I tend to always do it just because I can use my abilities if need be, but we're straight into it again. We're going to go ahead and kill the science right off the bat because they will melt you, especially on master. And then we're going to bait Gowron off the edge if we can. If he doesn't lunge immediately, you want to make sure he gets to a distance where you can lunge, like pulling him back like this, and then going back to the spot right at the edge. And if he's able to lunge or walk right off, he'll do it. So remember, if he's up close and he's slapping you, you want to make sure to bring him back towards the center and then back to the edge. And at this point, You'll have your artifice armor. Welcome to the outro. I don't know if anybody sticked around and watched all three runs on each class. Because if you did, thank you, I guess. It's nice that you stuck around this long. But I don't have a whole lot to say. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to use this for artifice armor. Of course, you can do this as a team. But hey, it's nice to have a solo artifice armor farm, right? And if you'd like to support me... In this channel as always comment down below artifice today thank you so much for watching if you like my stuff and since you're listening to me talk right now i would hope you have a little bit of interest a subscription would be really nice i'd love to see your face again that's all i've got hope to see you around